All right, time to bring out the secret weapon. Secret weapon time. It's getting serious now, getting real serious. Boom. Racing God. That's that's all it took. That's all it took. Ned. <laughs> yes. Wow, 156. That's a new record, I'm sure. <laughs> I have actually been racing blind. I've, honestly, I put these on. When did I put these? It was the last time I practiced properly on the playlist. I think it was the only day where I got a decent amount of playing. Um, was Friday, and I actually put these on, and I just noticed I got instantly better <laughs> after all this time. I should have been wearing glasses, really, to be fair. Oh well, never mind. Oh no! <laughs> I'm not ready for this. <laughs> hey everyone! So I've decided to do a little bit of a regular commentary to start off this video, just to uh, just to basically introduce the next couple of episodes of this live series, just to explain what it's all about. So this is basically a crew v crew battle with Shaggy's crew. Shaggy, aka G Unit, who you guys probably know from YouTube. He has a lot more subscribers than I do. Um, we've done a duo commentary in the past, and yeah, it was just a bit of a, a bit of a fun event that we decided to get together and do a bit of a, a bit of a crew v crew battle. So him and a couple of guys from his crew, me and a couple of guys from Nonchalant Dominance, which is my crew. Which, if you want to join, it is free to everyone to join. Um, the link will be in the description down below. So yeah, we got together and decided to do a crew v crew event. So the format for the event is basically six races. They chose three races, we chose three races, um, and their races were all non-contact. Our races were contact, as we normally race. Um, and yeah, that was up to each individual crew to sort of choose those rules. So this is the first race of the playlist. This is one of their playlists. Um, and basically they're all in red cars, we're all in orange cars. And it's just a 4v4 event, basically. You know, it doesn't matter who wins out of our crew. We just want to, uh, we just want to do well and get you know, points on the board for our crew. Um, the basically the the points at the end of the playlist, when when the playlist's all finished, all the points are all added up, and that determines who wins the event, which crew wins the event. So yeah, this is the first race. As you can see, it's not going too well, and that's really because I just had nowhere near enough practice before I started this. I kind of had to race in this one. I don't think I, I probably wouldn't have raced in this one um, if if I had a choice. You know, I kind of had to because I was racing obviously with Shaggy and I was live streaming it and things like that. Um, yeah, I, I felt I didn't really have enough practice, um, and we ended up losing this battle. I will tell you that straight away. Um, we definitely didn't win. We we lost by a reasonable margin, and that was fair enough. They deserved to win. They fully deserved to win. Um, and that was because they'd practiced so much. They'd actually done you know, hours and hours of practice every single day in the week leading up to it. I think uh, on the Saturday before the event, this was like the day before, they did 12 hours of practice straight off. So just practicing these tracks, these same six tracks for 12 hours, and that was just one day. So, you know, we, there was no way I was going to keep up with that. I was at work on Saturday, so, you know, I just, I, there's no way I was able to do that. But... I, I don't do too badly, you know, I, I do have some entertaining races, which is what I'll show you guys in these videos. Um, so basically the next three videos will be a few races from this crew v crew battle. Now it's not going to necessarily be the full race from every single one, uh, it's just going to be certain highlights from certain races. And the, the race at the end of this video, the second race in the playlist, is actually a really really good one because contact was on. Um, and you'll see a couple of different perspectives as well, you'll see my perspective together with uh, Shaggy's perspective from his stream. All in the same video and you can also watch the whole event from his perspective by clicking the links down below as well so yeah basically you know we we it was it was mainly to have a bit of fun with it you know just to enjoy ourselves um, but they'd practiced a hell of a lot more than we did and so because of that they fully fully deserve to win um, and obviously on these non-contact races there's not a lot you can do when you don't have uh, when you don't have the ultimate pace you know I knew that I didn't have the pace to keep up with everybody in the in this race so I was just going for consistency and that actually paid off a lot of the time but unfortunately the majority of the time it was other guys in the, in my crew who were going off and I was making places through consistency because other guys in my crew were um, 
you know, making mistakes and things like that, whereas I was hoping it was going to be guys in his crew. But no, you know, I mean, when they're practicing so much, they're getting really, really good lap times on all these tracks. When it comes to a racing situation, you've kind of got a lot more in the bank, if you like, to uh, to really, you know, you, you can go just as quick as I could, say, without any extra effort. You know, I was getting some uh, some really good lap times for me in some of these races and that was like the, the best lap times that I'd ever got but there was still a good a good few you know a second or a second and a half off the ultimate lap times that they'd got now they weren't getting those lap times in a race but it just means that you've got that knowledge and that uh, that practice and that that bit of a buffer all in the bank uh, if you so need it it was a bit of a shame that our Xbox guys couldn't also have a crack at this because obviously Shaggy's guys only race on PS3 um, there are some really quick guys on the Xbox side. In general, both uh, both PS3 and Xbox are about reasonably similar. Um, but I think uh, I think it's just a bit of a shame that we couldn't uh, do it on both platforms. But there you go. That is it is what it is. Um, I don't think it would have mattered really because they just put in so much practice anyway. <laughs> oh, and we had one guy who couldn't make it right at the last minute, so we had to get a substitute driver in who probably hadn't practiced as much even as much as me, and that was that's saying something. So yeah, it was a bit of a shame, but you know, that, it was just all a bit of fun, really, and that's all. That's all what it's all about. Obviously, the the quality for this isn't quite as good as you might expect as well, and that'll be the same for the next two episodes of this series, just because it was live streamed and it was on PS3. So, so that the the quality generally isn't quite as good when I when I'm recording on that compared to the 360. Um, and I do normally race on the 360, so you know there was a lot to get used to in the in the short space of time I had to uh, practice this. But it was a lot of fun anyway, and we had some really good, uh, really good battles, really good fights. Um, I did a lot better on the contact races, I would say, mainly because I could use a bit of racecraft, you know, a bit of racing knowledge to know when to overtake, when to defend, where to defend, things like that, rather than just being, you know, having someone fly straight through the middle of my car. You know, I could actually use a bit of racing knowledge, and that's why I prefer contact racing in general because it, it feels like there's a little bit more to it. But each to their own, and you know, it's up to each crew to decide how they want to uh, how they want to have their own races. So yeah, I mean, some some of the races were all you know, I I just didn't have the ultimate pace. Some I did quite well, but uh, got had issues, you know, people hitting me or something like that. Um, but it was just a lot of fun in general, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the next couple of videos that will show sort of the best parts about the, this crew event. And again, as I say, if you want to watch the whole thing from Shaggy's perspective, and I think he's uh, commentating over it as well, um, you can click the link down below and uh, go watch it there as well. So finally, well done to his crew. You certainly deserved the win. You certainly lived up to the name of Sweat Buckets with the amount of work that you put in. Um, and yeah, hope to do it again soon, really, as well. So thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I'll leave you to watch the rest of the uh, this video where there's a really good battle in the next race and the next two episodes of this series after this one, which will show the rest of the crew event as well. So thanks a lot for watching everyone, I'll see you next time. Well, that wasn't great. <laughs> I know I don't have the pace, so I'm just trying to go for consistency. Oh well, that was one of their tracks, so... Well, at least I can try and defend on this one. Not much I can do down here, mate. Trying to go oh, for the four cars in front. This is why contact is shite. Can't do anything.
outside, mate. No, no, no. That was a poor time to overtake. Sake is so good at defending, man. Can't Pissing do anything me here, mate. You get past. Oh my fucking god! Come on! For fuck's sake! Go on, Edward. Go on, Edward, mate. I tried! But it ain't working man, his ass is too big! His ass is too big man! Coming through. Fuck. I'm, I'm so done.
Get in. <laughs> Whew. Score one for racecraft, I guess. <laughs> Holy cow. <sighs> I think we lost someone there as well, unfortunately. Bloody hell, I haven't had a 43 on that track either.